This video is about how to find the area of a regular uh, polygon. And the technique that we're going to use will work for any regular polygon. In this example, uh, we're going to find the area of this pentagon. Uh, the trick for finding the area is pretty simple. You start from the center of the polygon and you construct a right triangle from the center to one of the vertices so that we have this right triangle. Now, one question that you're going to have to uh, ask and answer is, how many of that right triangle would it take to fill up the entire polygon? Well, in this case, you can see that it's going to be 10. Two of these right triangles will fill the bottom side, and then two more for this side, two more for this side, two more for this side, two more for this side. So uh, to fill up this five-sided shape, this pentagon, it's going to take 10 triangles. So if we had an octagon, it would take 16 triangles. If you had a decagon, it would take 20 of these triangles. All right, so our goal is, instead of finding, trying to find the area of the entire pentagon directly, we're going to find the area of this right triangle, and then we're going to multiply by 10. So notice we do have the bottom side. That's 4, because the side length of the pentagon is 8. Now, just knowing the side is not enough information to find the, uh, the area of the triangle, so we're going to need at least one more piece of information. And what we're going to find is this angle at the top. Since it takes 10 of these triangles to fill up the, the, uh, the pentagon, if you imagine drawing all 10 of them, you would have the same angle at the top sort of spiraling around uh, the center of the pentagon. And since there's 10 of these triangles, the angle at the top must be 360 degrees, the entire circle uh, around the center, uh, divided by 10, because there's 10 triangles. So in this case, the angle at the top is 36 degrees. So if you had a different example, you do the same thing. Ask yourself, how many triangles? Take 360, divide by that number, and that will give you the angle at the top. In this case, though, it's 36 degrees. Now we have enough information to find the area of this right triangle. Let's call the height of the triangle H, and then we can use trigonometry uh, to find H. So we have a 36 degree angle. We know the opposite side. H is the adjacent side, so we can use the tangent function. So the tangent of 36 degrees is 4 over h. So let's solve uh, this equation. I have my uh, calculator app pulled up. So we want to solve the tangent of 36 equals 4 divided by h. Solve for h. I'm going to press control enter because we want a nice decimal answer and uh, h is 5.51. Uh, go back to our work, we now know that h is 5.51. And now, well, we're really done. The height of the triangle is 5.51. We know that the base of the triangle, I'll call that b, the base is 4. The area of a triangle is base times height, divide by 2. And then we have 10 of these triangles. So we'll just go to the calculator and put all of that information in. So the area of the triangle is base times height divided by 2. I could press enter now and find the area of that triangle, but I'm going to go ahead and multiply by 10 because I want the area of the pentagon. And it's 10 of those triangles to fill up the pentagon. So let's see. Base times height divided by 2, multiply by 10. There we go. The area of the pentagon is uh, 110. Point two. So that's the answer to our question. 110.2, I should really write my units, uh, square centimeters, and that's how you do it. Anyway, hope this video helped. See you next time.